So I got this problem today uh, that I need to contend with, and it is the Honda mower, and this is what it is doing. It won't run and the last time I used it video here it wouldn't run unless it was on choke so that tells me it's not getting gas we got a blockage in the carburetor guys and we got to tear into it so today we're going to go ahead and figure out what is blocking my carburetor and try to get that cleaned up and then if it all works out we're going to go mow the neighbor's yard I don't have really much um, experience with this mower other than the experience I have in general with mowers uh, and small engines. So we're just going to dive into it, man. We'll start with like taking off the air cleaner and uh, we'll see about getting to this car bowl and see what it's going to take to get the car bowl off and um, you know, we'll just take it from there. What it's doing is it'll only run if the engine's on choke. So if you got a small engine and it'll only run if the engine's on choke, that means you're choking out the air. So if the motor will run because you're choking out the air, that means it's not getting enough gas because you need gas, you need air, and you need spark in order for the engine to work. So if you have to choke out air, that means it, it's getting too much air, not enough gas. So the only way that you get not enough gas is if it's either bad gas, which I know it's not bad gas, or if it's... Uh, dirt in the carburetor, dirt in the jet going up, sucking the fuel in from the bowl, or the bowl not bringing fuel in, maybe the needle isn't bringing fuel in fast enough, and so it's like basically thinks it's out of gas, and it's barely working on vapors. So what we're going to do is we're just going to slowly start working on taking this apart and see what we have. Regardless of the air filter's condition, which this one isn't really bad, um, it wouldn't be the air filter because we have to choke it anyways. It's already getting enough air or too much air. So we can say without a doubt it's not the air filter. Boy, this thing's pretty nasty. We do need an air filter though. Look at that. Wow. We're going we're gonna to go ahead and get ourselves a new air filter before it's too long. Um, this thing's just crazy dry rotting. Wow, that's nuts. Um, whatever. You tap, tap these out on the ground and you can um, kind of clean them up a little bit. But That's not what the problem is, but that is a problem that should be addressed. Here's the fuel. No, that's your air vac. Here's the fuel right here. Fuel lines right here to right here comes right from the fuel tank right here to here. Then you got your on off right here so that's on um, and then right here Matthew screaming at zombies right here you got your bowl you got your drain and then right here you got your mount way down underneath maybe you guys can see this right back here is the mount bolt and this is your drain bolt so you can drain your bowl right here and then you got your mount right here so if we turn the fuel off right there we're not we're not gonna have any more fuel come in and then we take this bolt off right here we can drop this down and we can check probably got some dirt right there so what we'll do we'll just take a little water bottle here and we'll just cut it open so we can catch as much of the fuel as possible and then we just put it in our oil catch for what we're gonna take to um, the auto auto parts store to recycle our oil and stuff like that there you go. Just try to make a little, just a little catch there, you know. You don't really want to get fuel all over the place. You kind of want to be responsible if you can. It's going to get on your fingers. Not too much you can do about it. If you want to wear gloves, be my guest. I don't. I just don't. I know. People will yell at me and talk about cancer and stuff. I smoked for 30 freaking years. That's probably more going to be my issue than anything else. That gas looks terribly dirty. But probably because it's dripping down the dirty car bowl. That gas looks terrible. That looks like nasty gas in there. So anyways, that's your little 
drain plug right there on the side of the bowl. So we'll go ahead and put that over here with the air cleaner so we don't lose it. Put that in our oil catch. Now right here, we have free access to the actual bowl itself, the car bowl mount. So we go ahead and break torque on that bad boy. So here's that. And these are sometimes, these sometimes have a hole in them and then there'll be a hole down at the bottom of these. You'll find like a hole at the bottom down here at the bottom of the threads and then a hole at the top and some, sometimes that's how it sucks the fuel in and up into the carburetor. I don't see that with this. But that doesn't mean it's not clogged. We'll play with that and we'll check that out in a little bit. Okay, then you got the car bowl which will come right off now. Now look inside there. Look at that. Look at all that dirt. Do you guys see all that dirt? Let me get you a light. Look at all that. That's all loose like dirt and crusty crap. That's horrible. That is probably got sucked up into the carburetor or quite possibly right here your float. When the bowl fills up with fuel this float will go up and when the float goes up the needle will go up and close off your fuel supply when it's open the needle will go down and open your fuel supply to allow fuel to pass through and fill up your bowl and then get sucked up into your carburetor that's a metered amount we probably have some serious blockage going on right here probably in here probably got a little piece of dirt or something in there so let's go ahead and clean this car bowl out I'm just going to use garden hose and water I'm just going to rinse it out good Next thing I want to check is the needle and seat. If I push my finger up on the float, it closes the needle. Right there. The end of my knife is a needle going up and down. If I close the float, the needle goes up. With the float closed, I should be able to open the fuel valve and I should get no fuel and I don't but when I open this oh, there's fuel I got fuel and a lot of it so the needle and seat is not clogged so that's not the problem so let's turn this back off so now the question is how bad is it up here and do we have the problem so I might end up having to either use a mirror to look up in there with the light, see if there's a jet in there. There probably is a threaded jet. There might be, might not be. I'm not sure. Um, some machines have them, some don't. If that's the case, we got to take the carburetor off and get up in there. So let's check it out. So it's not focusing very well, but using my cell phone camera, the the selfie camera I can look up use the screen as my monitor and I can see that that is threaded there is a threaded looks like a little flat tip that's gonna be the jet I bet it's dirty we're gonna have to get to it so let's do it Okay, so anyways, um, I got the fuel line off at the fuel tank. I have one of these arms off on this side. Let's see if that will be enough for me to get this off this side. And it is. And now I got this silly thing to try to get off. And the fuel line, I want to kind of clean out this fuel line too because it's looking kind of terrible. Blow that crap out. So here's the carburetor. And there's that little jet thingy up in there. So I want to clean all that out. So what happens is the fuel gets sucked into this little hole right here and right here. 
and then it goes up into that little jet that's up in there and that little jet that's up in there is probably all screwed up probably all full of crap so you can unscrew that with a flat tip screwdriver and then you can clean all this out so let me go ahead and do that up in there flat tip screwdriver and let me get this cleaned out. I went ahead and cleaned this up some um, I don't know don't look like it's in too bad a shape I think we'll be all right now so I'll go ahead and put this thing back together being very careful not to screw anything up um, and I want to clean out this fuel line there's a fuel filter that was stuck in here little screen out of there that's the fuel line don't do that ladies and gentlemen let me go ahead and get this thing back together all right now we're gonna look for any fuel leaks I got the fuel open put some gas in this baby that's not a leak that's residual but we're gonna start looking now for some new drips make sure we're good to go well the moment of truth uh, we fueled it up uh, what I ended up doing is I drained I, I took the carburetor bowl off took the carburetor off cleaned the carburetor um, Honest to God, I just used water, garden hose, uh, to clean everything. Shook it, blew it, put it back together. Took the fuel line off at the fuel tank. There was a screen there that was like so brittle. I took that off because it's probably breaking up and going into the fuel system and could cause a, a blockage. I just pulled it, took it out. Uh, we put, put it back together. I didn't put any new seals on. Hopefully it'll still be okay. I put the car, the, um, I put the gas cap back on. I may need a carburetor seal kit, like get, uh, gaskets, but I don't know. Uh, everything seemed to go together just fine. So um, the only thing left to do now is check it. Let's see what we got. start about a week ago I did a video where that thing wouldn't even run unless it was on full choke so we did what we did and we used the garden hose guys they burn like a kitten what was that the third or second pull burn like a kitten If I can do it, you can do it. All right, now the next thing I want to do is fix this mower height, the handle. Look at this. How low this is. Look at that. That's no good. What I see here is it looks like the handle's bent. And it goes like that. Like this part's upside down. This part has all the controls on the right side. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this off of this and then I'm going to flip this over and then put, all, put it all back together and see if that raises the handle up to a comfortable height because this is just too low. And how that happened is beyond me. We'll take that off. Oh boy. Take this off. 
get this out of our way. Now I'm going to take this off and flip this over. And I think that's going to put this higher up. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I think somebody mentioned this to me in one of my first videos. They said that the handle was upside down. I didn't really pay much attention to it. I didn't know what I was going to do with this motor anyways. You guys, you guys watching this? Where you at?
Sorry about my nasty sweat in the middle of 95 degree temperature with 95% humidity. Uh, July 20 something uh, in the southeast. But I believe that mower just kicked ass. And I believe that mower just kicked my ass. That thing ran fantastic. Thank God we fixed the carburetor, huh? I guess old girl lives to play another season. We'll see you uh, real soon. This is what we can.